a collision that lasted milliseconds, but ended in a hearing that lasted four and a half hours. After failing to overturn Patrick Cripps' two-week ban at the tribunal on Tuesday, Carlton took the case to the appeals board last night, and after a marathon hearing, it won. A relieved Cripps admitting he couldn't quite sit through the whole thing. I just followed a stream, but I was at the club and then um, went for a few hours, and then I actually um, went home and then had a shower. Yeah, it's a fair length, wasn't it? But no, I gave up after about a half an hour. Cripps maintains the contest was fair. You can clearly say on the vision that I went for the ball the whole time. I said that throughout the whole tribunal process. AFL bosses wouldn't talk today, but in a statement, the league says it accepts the appeals board's decision. But it won't shy away from changing regulations or tribunal procedures if there is a need to better protect players from concussion and brain trauma. I hope it gives actually more clarity um, in some ways. I mean, we always felt like, um, you know, as a player, you have a um, an ability to be able to contest the ball. And we sort of felt like that at the start. That was certainly the initial feel that we, that we had. The Blues play reigning premiers Melbourne tomorrow night. Now it's just up to getting back on the footy field and, and doing a love and um, like I said, two rounds to go, but you know, I'm just focused on tomorrow and uh, we'll give it a crack and see how we go. If they lose, they could miss out on the finals. Alexander Darling, ABC News, Melbourne.